मैसिव ट्रेजिडी बैक होम इन द मंडी डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश वे 24 इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम हैदराबाद आर फियर्ड ड्राउंड आफ्टर दे वर वॉश्ड अवे इन द ब्यास रिवर एज द वाटर वाज रिलीज फ्रॉम अ हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट अपस्ट्रीम टू बॉडीज हैव सो फार बीन फाउंड एंड टू टीम्स ऑफ द नेशनल डिजास्टर रिस्पांस फोर्स इज हेल्पिंग विद द रेस्क्यू एंड रिकवरी ऑपरेशंस द तेलंगाना होम मिनिस्टर एंड अ टीम ऑफ सीनियर पुलिस ऑफिसर्स आर नाउ हेडिंग to a kulu to supervise the relief and rescue measures now the incident took place on the on at thalot on the manali kiratpur highway that's 40 kilometers from mandi when the students at around 6 pm were taking photographs on the banks of the bias river they were swept away by gushing waters of the river following the release of water from the reservoir of largi hydropower project which is upstream they were a part of a group of 46 students so their uh, other students actually saw their classmates being swept away and the chief minister chandra babu naidu has also expressed shock and anguish over the incident and uh, we've just learned that uh, hrd minister uh, smriti irani is leaving for himachal pradesh uh, that is that is a tweet that has been released saying that she is on her way to himachal so much shock over this incident मेरे बच्चे को कैसा भी धोना बोलो देखो बोलो का है वो बच्चा अच्छा रहता है का नाम मोहम्मद साबिर हुसैन है कितने साल के वही बीस साल शायद है सेकेंड ईयर हुआ है अभी परसों एग्जाम लिखे रिजल्ट नहीं आया अभी आज कैसा पता चला ऐसा हुआ उनके हाँ न्यूज में देखे सर न्यूज में देखे आपको फोन नहीं कोई नहीं फोन करे यहाँ के प्रिंसिपल साहब कोई फोन नहीं करे मैंने Uh, मेरे दोस्तों को चिल्ला के अलर्ट करने के लिए कोशिश किया फिर मेरा वॉइस जो है वो स्ट्रक हो गया uh, मैं बाग के मेरे फ्रेंड्स के साथ फ्रेंड्स के पास गया था चिल्लाते तब तक उन लोग उन लोग ने भी देखा वाटर वाटर का राइजिंग लेवल मैंने एक चार पांच लोगों को बाहर ना मैं ना इस तरफ लाने की कोशिश किया और जब मैं एक सब कर रहा था इन अ स्पैन ऑफ फाइव टू सिक्स सेकेंड्स वाटर का लेवल जो है वो छः पाँच छः फीट तक बढ़ गया मेरा फ्रेंड्स का वो फुटिंग वो ग्रिप वो चला गया और कड़े नहीं कड़े नहीं रह सके वहाँ पे हमारे मेरे आंखों के सामने ही पूरा डूब गया टोटल फोर्टी फोर स्टूडेंट्स आर मिसिंग ऑलरेडी वी हैव गिवन लिस्ट द नेम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आर गिवन दैट आर ओनली दे आर मिसिंग नॉट एट कन्फर्म अदरवाइज पेरेंट्स शुड नॉट थिंक दैट अदरवाइज वी आर सर्च ऑपरेशन आर गोइंग ऑन only we are giving the miss, missing persons who are uh, who are who, who has not come back to the uh, their residence complaints and uh, complaints uh, already parents has come they are also um, panic eh? we are trying to sort out the list and we will give the addresses also a massive tragedy there uh, in himachal anand patel joins us on the phone line for more uh, anand what exactly happened uh, there uh, there are conflicting reports about whether a siren was sounded and also how these uh, poor engineering students actually didn't know what the siren meant but absolutely gargi you now this will be a matter of investigation as to uh, what exactly happened uh, whether the siren was sounded or not because you know the eyewitness over there the students who were along uh, with the ones missing are saying that there was no siren sounded but the local authorities there they are insisting that the siren was indeed sounded and the students couldn't make out as to what exactly the siren meant and uh, they were washed away in the gushing waters of the bias river so that is a matter of investigation will come out uh, only once a formal inquiry is conducted and the report is out but yes indeed a, a, a tragic incident which occurred yesterday and the students uh, a, a group of around 48 students who were there Uh, on a on a summer excursion uh, on their way uh, from shimla to manali and on the way they stopped near thalot village on the river side of river bias very close to the uh, largi dam which is under construction and uh, around uh, 6:30 to 7 pm uh, water was released all of a sudden and uh, the velocity of water was such that the students who were taking pictures in the river bed which was dry up till then uh suddenly got washed away and the students didn't get any time you know uh, the i this is we can hear saying that you know within uh, within 5 to 6 seconds you know the uh, level of the water rose uh, to around 5 to 6 feet and the intensity of water was such that uh, the students had no uh, chance of you know uh, clutching onto the rocks or uh, uh, coming back uh, to the safe safety on the banks 
and they were all washed away. 24 students and one bus conductor are uh, still missing. Uh, two bodies have been extricated from the Pando Dam, which is downstream, and uh, floodgates of the Pando Dam were closed uh, last night itself so that, you know, the body wouldn't get uh, washed away even further. And the, uh, the SSB, the Siva Suraksha Bal team and the team of uh, local divers are concentrating on extricating the bodies from the Pando Dam Reservoir. So far, two bodies have been fished out, uh, yet uh, another 23 are still missing. And uh, very soon, uh, the NDRF team is also likely to join the uh, search operations. Uh, so now, you know, uh, uh, very unfortunate that, you know, the chances of uh, anybody uh, found alive are very, very remote because the water was at a very high speed and there was a lot of silt, uh, you know, uh, so the chances of anybody surviving that are very, very remote. We also told that the Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh, Abhir Badal Singh, is, is personally monitoring the whole search operation and uh, he may also go to Thalot uh, to take a first-hand account of uh, the search operation. But that's not confirmed yet, but yes, he's taking personal interest and, and keenly, uh, 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 you know, coordinating with the officials uh, of uh, the administration of Mandi and the uh, uh, centre and the uh, Telangana state uh, government. Uh, so that you know, all the information which comes out from the from the spot and the field is passed on to the right hand and to the parents also. So indeed, a very tragic incident. And uh, the uh, reason of uh, why the water was reached of a sudden without any warming would come out only after formal inquiry is conducted. Gargi? Right, uh, Anand. Thanks so much for joining us with that uh, massive tragedy, and of course, uh, people hoping against hope. Uh, rescue teams are at the spot. Uh, rafts and uh, rescue teams and divers are working there, is what we're being told. And also, the uh, three bodies have so far been recovered: two uh, of, uh, of girls and one of uh, of a male student. Well, let's go across to Uma, who joins us from Hyderabad. Uma, much shock there in Hyderabad. Uh, both the chief ministers of Telangana and Andhra have reacted. Uh, teams are also being sent to help in coordinating with the rescue and relief operations. Yes, Gargi, the shock, anger, the frustration, the helplessness, all of that erupting in the form of anger with parents and families, in fact, arriving at the college very, very angry because just less than a week ago, in fact, on the 3rd of June, these uh, uh, these families had sent their children on this 10-day excursion, third-year students, electronics and instrumentation, engineering, all of them around 20 years of age and uh, set off on this journey where they, it was supposed to be a pleasure trip for them uh, before coming back once again to the academic year here. And therefore, the parents are, are unwilling and unable to really believe that such a tragedy could uh, befall them. So, angry scenes certainly at the college and also at the airport where many of these uh, parents uh, were told they would probably be a uh, uh, try uh, the, uh, the government in fact was trying to put them on plane so that they could uh, go there themselves to the site where this uh, terrible mishap has happened the home minister of telangana along with also greyhounds teams and police teams in fact has left this morning uh, for this uh, site they are hoping against hope really that rescue operations will be able to uh, save or find at least uh, some of these children who are reported missing uh, still alive so the telangana government less than a week after having taken uh, charge having to deal with very very tragic circumstances but they are also raising very important questions asking for investigation to be conducted on why uh, whether at all one the siren was uh, was uh, uh, was uh, heard by the students and uh, how do they expect tourists uh, children uh, this area obviously is a tourist area how do they expect outsiders to know what exactly the siren means so they are saying this is criminal negligence certainly on the part of the authorities there and a totally totally unnecessary tragedy happening here and befalling so many families here so the wait for the families continues none of them in fact uh, willing to still believe that their uh, son or daughter is no more one can understand the very very difficult circumstances uh, not just for those families but the institution and whoever has heard the news in fact totally heartbroken